How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? My name is Tim McCandless, and this is my channel, uh, Be Original. It's going to have uh, beekeeping content, chickens, as you can hear in the background, gardening, <laughs> cooking recipes soon, chicken salad recipe, rooster salad, very similar. But uh, today I want to show you uh, my beekeeping tip of the day that I got. <clears throat> you take these these pro nuke boxes. <clears throat> they're really they're really good. They're convenient. They're lightweight, easy to handle. Uh, the feeding system in them uh, it, it shows using a using a box cutter to to cut the slits, and it just it takes some time. Uh, so this is this is the way I did. I keep a sprite. This is what, what I use whenever I go out and catch a swarm. I'll have a, a box with some frames in it. I keep a bottle of sugar in my truck. And just whatever water source you got. But uh I mean as simple as this is, right? Okay. So your your container is filled up. You got your your sprite bottle. Now you give that a shake. What you're gonna need for this is some type of pliers, a short piece of scrap pipe. And I got this other thing here also. I'm gonna use on this feeder. <laughs> yes, we haven't forgot you're there. Let me get a little closer to this. This is a. Uh, yeah, they having fun. This is a sewing machine needle, and it's got a taper on it. As you can see, if you heat this end up, the very tip of it, you can see how it's blued where I've been doing this. When you push it into this bevel, it's melting the plastic, and it pushes, that flares that out. Uh, that way you don't have to, to drill it. Normally, if you poke a hole in something plastic, it'll kind of seal itself off with this... With this flared piece on this needle, it holds it open for a good uh, for a good feeder. Like I said, this is this is the way I do it. Everybody's got their own little way of doing it. I keep them in my secretary. I just run through it just like I caught a swarm. I let's just pretend I got a swarm in the box here. Or Gonna get this cherry red punch it from the inside of the lid out the reason why is it leaves a little bit of a burr and when you put take that lid on and off you can kill kill bees uh, not intentionally but just by the way this is made but just one quick push to it clean cut drop that Put it up too quick, didn't I? I get my little, my little secretary out. Same thing. I eat that tip to a cherry red. I give it a couple of pokes. All the way down to the flange on it. Give it one more. I like three in it. Like I said, this ain't nothing permanent. <clears throat> but you can see the the hole that it made in the lid. <laughs> clean, clean hole. It's clean, fast. Uh, when you got all your stuff laid out, it's very quick. Your bee feeder, of course, you want to shake your sugar water up really well. But uh, when you turn it over, you invert the bottles. It makes a, a excellent feeder. Uh, you can you can really see what it'll do if you squeeze on it. So.
catch you swarm. Dump it in your box. I'll close the entrances until I get home. Now, if you have to move them and you got this hole in it, you can close these up. Just some blue painter's tape over that on the inside and just snap your lid on. I always make sure I, it's got a side that's prevented and unvented. I feel like I like to breathe a lot and I'm pretty sure all God's creation does too. Uh, so why would I not have any ventilator where they can breathe good? Here's just some of the tips that I hope to be sharing soon uh, here on our channel. This is going to be about getting back to the, the food you eat. I've, I've lost 300 and, I don't, know, I don't know how many pounds, 350, 360 pounds. At one time I weighed 650, 675. And because I changed my diet, the way I changed my lifestyle, I found health and renewing, uh, just getting up. I remembered what a box of a healthy hive of bees smelled like, and it was enough to get me up to working to lose my weight. And I made the Lord a promise, you, you give me strength to get up and go again, Lord, I'm gonna go. I wanna keep bees one more time. Lord blessed me many, many times over since then. And I thank him for it every day. I open two presents from him every day in my eyes. I praise God for him. Let me show you this right here before we go. My friend, he had an incubator and he hatched out a little clutch of buff Orpingtons for me. These are gonna be going in their new egg mobile I'm gonna have out here. And uh, they're after some kind of bug in there right now. But it's gonna be about <clears throat> food choices you make where your food comes from what you're eating what you put in your body you wouldn't you wouldn't put you wouldn't put get diesel you wouldn't put kerosene in your brand new sports car you know yeah they're both fuels different kind of motors that's for another story another day if you like is hit the like button share it with your friends I look forward to doing more of these beekeeping and homesteading type videos. Y'all have a blessed day. Buy local, be local, be original. God bless you.